breathtaking spots in our area could be in for a change. Yeah, there is a proposal to add a pedestrian and biking option high above the Columbia River on the Bridge of the Gods. Coin wants to know why, and our Eileen Park is live out there in the gorge to explain. Such a beautiful day out there, Eileen. It really is, Jennifer. The Bridge of the Gods is part of the Pacific Crest Trail. That is why for all these years, hikers have been allowed to walk across it. But if you take a closer look, you can see that there really is no separation between where a hiker can walk and where a car passes. A couple times a day, Frank Karstens walks back and forth from Washington to Oregon to make a living. I think it would be nice if the you had a little extra room from the traffic. He's used to walking side by side with cars with no barrier in between, but he says it's not ideal. Sometimes you get traffic that stops instead of just kind of going by and then it stops everybody. It makes you feel awkward. Sometimes I feel like I have to step on, onto the side rail to let them by. The Pacific Crest Trail Association estimated that about 7,800 people walked across the bridge last year alone. So here's what you have to do if you want to walk or bike across the Bridge of the Gods. You've got to join in on this line. Hello. Okay, hey. Here's a dollar. Yes. Thank you. Okay, now we make sure you walk on the left hand side, okay? Got it. Then you have to make sure that you're facing traffic. And if you look, there's no designated path for pedestrians or bicyclists. You kind of have to walk with the cars. That's why the Port of Cascade Lock submitted an application to the Federal Land Access Program to get funding for a pedestrian and bicyclist add-on to the bridge. And we felt like because we're on the Pacific Crest Trail and it is a federal land access grant, that that would fit with adding a bike and pedestrian um, lane, if you will, off the side of the bridge. And that would really provide a tourist attraction. And it would be safer, too. Plus, this proposal has the support of both Democratic and Republican lawmakers, including Jamie Herrera Butler, Wyden, Berkeley, and Blumenauer, as well as Walden. So. The port is going to find out in a couple of months if the first phase of their proposal passes. Live from the Columbia River Gorge, I'm Eileen Park. Back to you. Boy, good way to show that too, Eileen, how just unsafe that can be. Also tonight, a global wine shortage.